Okay. Triple chain bless you all. Most venerable bhikkhuni and dear Dharma devotees. We are now starting our guided meditation session. Please sit comfortably. Let us practice our meditation session. Please sit comfortably. Relax your body. Relax your mind. Keep your body erect. Pay your proper attention to the posture please bring your mind to the present moment. I'm in the present moment. I'm here. Be aware of your sitting posture. I'm sitting. I'm sitting. Relax your body and mind. Pay attention to your head. See your head through your mind.
Feel your attention to the head and see your head through your mind. See your hands. How keep your hands? Relax your mind. Then see your complete posture, head to toe, through your mind. See your complete posture, head to toe, through your mind. Pay your proper attention to the whole body, head to toe. See your whole body through your mind. Slowly bring your mind to see nostrils. Slowly bring your mind to see nostrils. Now, slowly, you may concentrate on your breath. Just 
just slowly concentrate on your breath. Please be aware of your breath. Please be aware of your breath. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath and pay your proper attention. Be mindful to breathing in and breathing out. Slowly pay your proper attention to your breath, breathing in, breathing out. Basically, inhale and exhale. Now you are observing your breath. Just you are observing your breath. Be aware of your breath. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling.
with your peaceful mind. Let's spread loving kindness to all beings. Now you are experiencing peaceful and calm mind. With this calm mind, with peaceful mind, let's spread metta for all beings. May I be well and happy. May I be well and happy. May I be free from anger. May I be free from anger. May I be free from suffering. May I be free from suffering. May I be well and happy. May I be well and happy. May I be well and happy. May I be free from anger. May I be free from suffering. May I be free from suffering. May I be well and happy. May I be well and happy. May I be well and happy. May all beings be well and happy. May all beings be well and happy. Sabbe Sat.
ಸುಕೇತ ಸಂಧೆ ಸತ್ತು ಸುಕೇತ all beings live well and happy may all beings free from suffering may all beings free from anger may all beings free from anger may all beings be well and happy may all beings be well and happy be well and happy be well and happy be well and happy
Observe your mind. How do you feel? Your mind is very calm and peaceful and relaxed. You are enjoying serenity. How beautiful am I? With all some thoughts, we are so relaxed. We are enjoying happiness. What do you feel now? You are away from unwholesome thoughts. Now you feel fulfill meta thoughts in your mind. Good thoughts give you happiness. Wholesome thoughts give you joy.
बार लेट्स सी रियलिटी ऑफ आ माय can you keep wholesome thoughts with you in your whole life no wholesome thoughts also impermanent thoughts are subject to the change whatever thoughts arise in our mind thoughts are arising and passing away see the reality of your mind all thoughts are arising and passing away whatever thoughts comes to your mind good or bad all thoughts depends on cause and effect thoughts are impermanent sambe sankara anichati all thoughts are suffering sabbe sankara dukkhati all thoughts are non self all phenomena is non self sabbe dhamma anattati sees the reality of our mind we can't control our thoughts just arising and passing away just only a thought process
just only a thought process. Try to realize nature of your mind. Let's move on to the Dhamma talk now. Take a little break. Then we can move on to the Dhamma talk. Today I selected one of the suttas in Anguttara Nikaya. I'm sure you know very well this. In Anguttara Nikaya, the sutta name is Charam. Sutta. Did you have heard about this sutta before? No. <laughs> this is very good sutta. This sutta is mentioned in Anguttara Nikha. Chatukkanipata. The numerical discourses of the Buddha, the book of the pause, or Chatukkanipata. The name of the sutta is walking. <laughs> the name of the sutta is walking. The word walking is very familiar for us. We you know walking, sitting, standing, lying down. We have four main postures. In this sutta, our great teacher Lord Buddha mentioned how to away from unwholesome thought, how to practice away from unwholesome thought. Thoughts. This is very, very important sutta for all of us. Here has mentioned lots of Dhamma facts, especially as a mendicant. As a practitioner, 
as a big co what we should do and what we should practice in our day to day life we all know very well we always maintain four main postures in our day to day activities what are those four postures walking standing sitting and lying down you should be fully aware of with these four postures according to lord buddha's teachings in this sutta our lord buddha mentioned Because if a sensual thought, a thought of ill will, or thought of harming arises in a big co while walking, and he tolerates it, does not abandon it. dispel it terminate it and obliterate it then that bhikkhu is said to be devoid of ardor and moral dread he is constantly and continuously lazy and lacking in energy while walking see that dhamma point this is very important while you are walking if you get a sensual thought or a thought of ill will or a thought of harming then what we should do what should we do while you are walking or while you are sitting or while you are standing or while you are lying down if a sensual thought a thought of ill will or thought of harmful arises in your mind then what should we do according to lord buddha's teachings we have to give it up we have to give it up why if we deal with unwholesome thoughts like sensual thoughts or thought of ill will or thought of harmful 
then we accumulate lots of bad karma. Why? That's why our Lord Buddha here mentioned you you should you should not tolerate those kinds of bad thoughts you should not tolerate you have to reject you have to reject in pali you mention na diva seti don't tolerate it when unwholesome thoughts arise in your mind sensual thoughts or thought of ill will or thought of harmful if those thoughts arise in your mind don't tolerate it give it up pajjhati na divasiti pajjhati vinodeti vyanti karoti anabhavam gameti you have to give it up why harmful thoughts is not beautiful anger thoughts thoughts of ill will not good for us not good for others not good for both then you should have to give it up you have to get rid of it and eliminate it vyanti karoti eliminate it and obliterate it you should have to obliterate it brings it to an end this is very important as a good practitioner you have to keep in your mind those dhamma points when you are dealing with people when you are dealing with people then sometime you feel anger you feel anger and when you are dealing with people sometime you feel attachments anger attachments delusion then what should we can do 
according to this sutta, our great teacher Lord Buddha here mentioned, if he does not allow it to stay, don't tolerate it. Anger thoughts, when you get anger thoughts in your mind, don't tolerate it. But reject it. Reject. Quickly abandon it. Quickly abandon it. Get rid of it and brings it to an end. That practitioner who is energetic and afraid of wrongdoing is often and continually called energetic and firm in the goal of ultimate freedom, Nibbana. Let's see how to practice these Dhamma points in our day-to-day -day life. While we are walking, while we are sitting, standing, while you are doing our day-to-day -day activities, if you get unwholesome thoughts, like sensual thoughts, or thought of ill will, or thought of harming. It means cruel thoughts. If you get cruel thoughts, don't tolerate. You don't tolerate. Why? If you keep those type of bad thoughts in your mind, then you are suffering. You are suffering. You are not free from anger. That's why our Lord Buddha here mentioned when unwholesome thoughts arise in your mind, you should practice in these five ways. In these five ways. You should practice in these five ways. What are, what are those five ways? You should have to keep in your mind. Don't tolerate it. Unwholesome thoughts when arises in your mind. Don't tolerate it. See the danger of it. When we are dealing with anger, when we are dealing with lustful thoughts, see the danger of it. See the disadvantages of it. When we are dealing with anger, 
we accumulate bad karma. It means we will have to face bad consequences in the future. If you accumulate unwholesome thoughts, there are consequences, bad consequences. You know very well, every action has a reaction. Maybe your action may be good, then you will get good reactions. If your action is bad, then you will get bad reactions. That's why we should cultivate wholesome thoughts. We should cultivate wholesome thoughts. Wherever you are, whatever you do, you have to purify your mind. The intention is the most important thing. Your intention. According to doctrine, Chetana Ham Bikrave Kamangwada. The intention, if your intention is pure and if your intention is genuine, then your action become genuine. Your actions become pure. With your pure intention, your words are pure. Your actions are pure. But with unwholesome thoughts. With unpure intention. If we do something with unpure intention, words and actions are bad. Not beautiful. That's why Lord Buddha mentioned mind is the forerunner for everything. Mind is the foremost. Mind is the forerunner. We, we have to we have to do Always, we have to purify our mind. That is our responsibility. You cannot purify others' mind. You are the owner of your mind. I am the owner of my mind. If I want to purify my mind, I have to do that hardly. Effort with effort. With good effort, I can purify my mind. But you are not 
energetic if you are not energetic lack of energy with lack of energy you can't do anything that's why our great teacher here mention who is energetic and afraid of wrong doing afraid of wrong doing is often and continually called energetic and firm in the goal of ultimate freedom nibbana now you know very well how should we purify our mind there is the way in this sutta charanta sutta there is the way how to purify your mind how to cleanse your mind there is the way while you are walking while you are sitting while you are standing or while you are lying down when unwholesome thoughts arise in your mind don't tolerate it na divasethi don't tolerate it pajhati give it up as soon as possible give it up when bad thought arises in your mind quickly give it up don't tolerate get rid of it we know they they get rid of it eliminate it vyanti karote anubhavam gamete obliterate it brings in brings it to an end these are the five ways you should practice in your day to day life according to lord buddha's teachings we should keep those guidance in your mind and try to practice in our day to day life this is the teaching so our great teacher lord buddha i'm sure you can understand what was the message in this sutta how to overcome bad thoughts how to stay away from unwholesome thoughts how to purify our mind to purify your mind you should practice these five ways then definitely you can have a pure mind you can have a balanced mind you can have a beautiful mind i think now time is over now the right time for the q and a session let's move on to the q and a session
If you can raise your hands, I can ask you to unmute. Uh, thank you. Um, I think I understand what you've said. I still find it really difficult to, there are corners of my mind that there are some people that I find extremely challenging to have goodwill. I know what I should do. How to is my problem. And I also am left feeling like a failure. Um, yeah, I think that's, yes. So if you could yeah. make a comment yes. on that. Yes. Thank you. Understood. <laughs> yes, sometimes we have to face big challenges. Big challenges. Not big, huge challenges in our life, dealing with some people, some kinds of people, it is so difficult. That is true. That is the real truth. That's true. But, According to doctrine, I would like to remind you we are the owner of our mind. We, we, we are compassion for us. You are compassion, you have compassion to you. If you are compassion to you, if I am compassion to me, I am trying to keep a happy mind. I am trying to Balance, peaceful mind. Then, sometime it is very difficult to have a happy mind. Then, what we should do? We have to, really it is difficult, but we have to let it go and take some time. Let it go and take time. Then it can change to another way. It can change to Really, it will change good way. You have to give it up from your mind, not outside object. You cannot give it up outside object. You cannot give it. But in our mind, we have craving and sorry yeah we are clinging we are clinging to some object through our mind craving clinging give us suffering we should have to 
understand that point. Not easy to give up, not easy to give up some something, some problem, not easy to give up. But we should analyze our mind. Why am I suffering? Why am I worried? Because I am clinging on to it. I am clinging on to it. I have craving for that. That's why I am worried. That's why I am suffering. If, if you want to get rid of it, if you want to get rid of, if you want to stay away from that, you may give it up. Don't keep for a long period of time, you don't keep in your mind. Try to stay in the present moment. You have to give it up. That is very difficult, easy to say, but <laughs> practically it is very difficult. It is a challenge. It is a challenge. But if you can practice, let go. If you can practice, let go. Give up. If you can practice, give up. That is a kind of vipassana meditation. Then you can free from worries, then you can free from sufferings. You give it, give it to them. Don't bring it to your mind. <laughs> you have to practice it little by little. It is not easy, but we have to practice little by little. I hope it is clear. Do you want to any more clarification? No, no. Thank you. No, that's... Okay. Yes, thank you so much for the talk. I am in a temporary challenging situation which brings up feelings of ill will. Is it better to give up the feelings or remove myself from the situation or both? Nice, nice. Very good. Yeah. Which brings up feelings of ill will. It means uh, dealing with anger. You should understand, first you understand the feeling. When you are dealing with anger, really you are not happy. I'll give you an example. Now, 45 minutes ago, we practiced breath meditation and loving kindness meditation. Then, at the time, did you feel worries? No, no worries at all. Why is that? We are maintained, we were maintained 
wholesome thoughts. Wholesome thoughts give you pleasant feelings. Wholesome thoughts every time give you pleasant feeling. But unwholesome thought like ill will give us unpleasant feeling, unpleasant feeling. We do not like to keep unpleasant feelings in our mind. We do not like. Every being like to maintain pleasant feeling. Pleasant feeling and neutral feeling. But we do not prefer to maintain unpleasant feeling. Then, first of all, we should have to understand our feelings. Then, we can get rid of it. Unpleas when you are dealing with unpleasant feeling, while you are dealing with anger, you get unpleasant feeling. Why we keep those unpleasant feelings with us? We don't want to maintain those unpleasant feelings. We have to give it up. Then you firstly you give it up your bad feelings. Bad feelings. You have to give it up your bad feeling. Then your bad situation it become a good situation. When we are dealing with bad situation, with bad feelings, first we have to understand, recognize the feeling and give it up that bad feeling. Throw away. You have to throw away. We have to get rid of it. Then your bad situation become a good situation. That is the way it is a bit difficult because you have to analyze your mind. Feelings, feelings belongs to your mind. Then you should have to analyze your mind. Now I am dealing with bad feelings, unpleasant feelings. I want to remove these bad feelings. Then only you can give up that unpleasant feeling. That is the way to get rid of bad feeling. Are you clear? Do you want to any more clarification? I think now time for you, Anori. <laughs> there is one more question. Uh... Can we take that as well? I will unmute, Karel. 
Okay. Thank you, Manuri. Thank you, Venerable, for your teachings. Um, I just realized it, there is little time left, and I think I I will park it to some other time. But thank you very much. Okay, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for everyone listening to me. <laughs> thank you. And thank you very much, Venerable. Uh, uh, for agreeing to come uh, for this program and uh, because Venerable Chanda is away on the Vasat uh, Perth. So we have this program with once a week, um, a bhikkhuni from somewhere in the world comes and give us their valuable teachings. And uh, we were so fortunate to have you. And uh, with this series of bhikkhunis, um, last year and this year both. So thank you very much for giving us these wonderful teachings and um, and the lovely meditation time we had as well. And for all of our community people who are with us now, and uh, thank you very much for being a community uh, and supporting Anukampa Bikkuni project. And all these uh, teachings are given by Anukampa Bikkuni Project, uh, free of charge. And uh, we have all these things recorded and in our YouTube channel, Years Worth of uh, Dhamma. And we have other special events and regular events as well. So all these things can be done because of you, the community, and your support. Uh, so at this time, what we require is the financial support because um, we have got this new monastery uh, in Oxford. Um, uh, so when you convert a house into a monastery, as you know, there's so many things to change. And uh, uh, we've been doing during this summer while uh, Venerable Chanda was away. Um, insulating the loft, preparing for the winter and uh, doing all kind of things like cleaning the moss on the roof and uh, uh, cleaning the, softening the water, clearing the cesspit tank. So there's a list of things uh, that we are doing while Venerable is away and uh, the, the visitors are less. So I invite you if you are financially able um, to donate uh, any financial donation for uh, Anukampa Bikuni project, um, and in our website we have um, the donation link, and uh, thank you, Matthias, for putting the link as well. Um, so um, that is what we need these days. And uh, please keep an eye on our um, newsletter as well. In the next newsletter, there will be more uh, information on when there's going to be special teachings. Uh, the teachings from uh, Bhante Sujato in January uh, and the next year uh, retreats and other teachings as well. Thank you very much. And thank you again, Venerable Terika. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Most Venerable Bikuni and everyone. Thank you.